Hello, my name is Jacob Griffith, and this is a science experiment on the surface tension of water and oil. What you see here is my setup for the experiment. I have on the left a bowl of oil and water. It has been let set for some time, and it may be hard to see, but there is a needle hidden within there, located here. I was unable to get it to float on the surface of the oil or the water. Here in the center you can see normal water, tap water, approximately room temperature with a decent sized needle floating on the surface. Over here a larger bowl of water with two needles in it. One currently on the surface here, you can see the shadow here, the other one is here on the bottom. Although the larger needle can be float can float on the surface though it's not as easy to achieve. Here's a short, here is placing the needle onto the water. As you can see, there's a little bit of oil droplets in the water. It will not affect it. You need to be gentle in placing and you need to try and keep the needle parallel to the surface of the water and get it as close as you can without touching the water release it and it should float as can be seen here here we see a bowl with water and a needle a larger sized needle to show that yes they do float in this, exp in this point it is a compass or a makeshift compass the needle has been magnetized by simply taking a magnet that we removed from a, an old hard drive that had broken and used the powerful magnet within to magnetize the needle. Magnetized enough that it is sensitive to the magnetism of the earth. I will be manipulating it with a pencil that is just a simple pencil lead to try and get it to show that yes, it is rotating and the angle it was was a approximately north to south angle. As you can see, it returns to approximately the same, and this can be used if you need to make an emergency compass to be able to find your way. Something to hold water a needle, magnet, water, you have yourself a makeshift compass. Come in here, you see the oil and water. Now, many have set up experiments like this in their schools, and of course the schools couldn't go into as much detail as to why, but there are several reasons. The density of the oil is m less than the density of the water, and so the oil floats on the water, but as well, the different molecules between the oil and water do not mix well. Water sticks well to items that have a slight charge to them. The oil is more of a neutral charge, though one of the biggest things is the surface tension. Each of the two materials has a separate sur surface tension and this forces them to separate, like surface tensions will stick to each other. The exam an example is water on the surface of a glass of ice water in the heat. You'll see condensation form around the glass. It will form into these little bubbles as the water will try and stick to other molecules that are similar to it. These here are the two locations that I received the information from. Though one is Wikipedia, that was mainly used as a secondary reference. The first one shows a lot more about the physics of water. My name is Jacob Griffith. This has been a series of experiments, though simple, on surface tension of water and oil.